In this lesson, we'll quickly review the Envy's built-in test patterns and how to access them. These patterns are useful for a variety of tasks, including setting the display's black and white levels, checking convergence and focus, measuring peak luminance, and more. Let's dive right in and take a look. First, we need to know how to access a test pattern menu. If you're using the RC2 backlit remote, you can simply press and hold the info button for one second. If you have the RC1 remote, we'll first need to identify which colored button is assigned to access the test patterns on your unit. That's because the button assignments can vary on Mark 1 units, and it's fairly common to find no assigned button at all, in which case we'll need to assign one. To do this, we'll start at the remote control configuration menu as you see here. Look to see if the Open Test Pattern menu action is assigned to any colored button. If so, you now know how to open the Test Pattern menu on your unit. We can see here the action is not assigned to any button, so let's go ahead and assign one. In this example, we'll assign it to the green button. Select it and choose Open Test Pattern menu from the list. Next, I'll save this to base so it's always available going forward. Now we're ready to open the menu, but before we do, note that the colored buttons have different actions when the menus are open than when the menus are closed. For example, we've already seen that the green button saves your settings to the base layer, but when the menu is closed, the green button will instead trigger the action assigned in this menu, in this case, to open the test patterns. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up the test patterns. To do this, we first need to close any open menus like the one here. To do this, just press the same button used to open that menu. Or if you're using the RC2 remote, you can just press the back button. With the menu now closed, we can press the green button and voila, there's our test pattern menu. And as a reminder, if you have the RC2 remote, you can skip all that and just press and hold the info button to bring up the test patterns. Here we can see what test patterns are available. First is a black levels pattern. This is used to check whether the black level is set properly in the display and to make any necessary adjustments. Take note of the convenient instructions in the pattern that explain how to use it. We'll cover this in more detail soon. Next is a black and white levels pattern. This is used like the black level pattern, but for checking the white level instead. Next is a display chroma processing pattern. This is useful for checking how your display processes chroma. This is more of an advanced topic and not something we need to focus on here. Next are the one-to-one -one pixel resolution and quick brown fox patterns. These are useful for checking the clarity and resolution of your display. Next is the convergence pattern which you can use to check if a projector's RGB panels are aligned. For example, watch what it could look like if the red panel was misaligned horizontally. I'll make that change right now. Notice the misalignment here, although typically it wouldn't be universal like this. You can use the panel alignment feature in your projector to correct this, or if there isn't one, the Envy has a convergence control in the screen configuration menu. Next are two upscaling patterns, which you can use to check the quality of the upscaling. And finally, we have the white field test pattern. This is useful for measuring your peak lumens, which we'll cover shortly. Well, that wraps up this overview on the built-in test patterns and how to access them. We're now ready to move on to our next lesson.